All right, here's our practice quiz. Let's go ahead and uh, work through it. You probably got the first one done, maybe. This means distance. So we know that involves the big radical. And inside the radical, we're going to do what? Three minus five. Subtract our x's. And whoever said that said three minus five. Could we do five minus three? Yeah. Doesn't make a single bit of difference. Either way, whatever you are comfortable doing. We've got x minus x, and now we're going to take y minus y. And again, you can do that in either order. So here we go. 3 minus 5 squared 4. Negative 2 minus 4 negative 6. Don't get careless. That's negative 6 squared 36. So we have the square root of 40, and that's going to be worth partial credit most of the credit but you're going to lose a little half a point if you don't recognize that 40 is 2 times 20 which is 2 times 10 which is 2 times 5 yep. so we have a 2 a 2 a 2 and a 5 2 or 10 so these come out and the other two got to stay in so the answer is 2 root 10 how many got that all the way right? That is amazing. These would be easy papers to grade, hopefully. All right, midpoint. Yesterday, Ms. Ford said, I want you to remember one key word. When you're doing midpoint, what's the key word? Average. average. Because if you can remember average, you know you're going to add and divide by two. two. Now, what are we going to add? We're going to add our x's. We're going to average our x's. So when I average my x's, 3 plus 5 is 8, eight divided by 2 is 4. four. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my y's. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2, two divided by 2 is one. 1. How many got that one entirely right? Okay, some of you may not have gotten that far yet because I kind of brushed you. But now we're going to simplify this as a review problem. All right, this is a review problem. We've already had a quiz over this, but not all of us got it right, so we're gonna try it again. Start with the numbers. If there are numbers in the problem, regular numbers, not exponents, just regular numbers. You have a three over a nine. Don't complicate this. Don't get it confused. It's three ninths. What do we know about three ninths? One third. It's one third. Some of you were doing all kinds of wacky things yesterday. No, no, no. Just reduce it. All right, now I have four X's on the top and three X's on the bottom. Think about that. Four on top, three on the bottom. Who has more? The top. How many more? One. So I got X on top. X to the first on top. Uh-oh. I have a negative exponent here. Push it down. Push it down, that's right. Now wait a minute, there's seven y's already down there. Down come three more. Now I've got y to the 10th on the bottom. Well, here's another negative. This one's gonna get pushed up. There's five of them sitting up there. I'm bringing eight more up. Give me a grand total of 13, z to the 13. And there is the answer. Do you have to write that one there? You do not have to put the one there. The one is not a necessary. When is the only time the one would have to be there? If, there's enough if, there's enough if there was nothing else up there. If that were the only thing up there, yes, you would have to have the one. But since there's other stuff up there, it's not necessary. It doesn't hurt anything. You want to leave it up there, but it's not necessary. All righty.